Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Hey babe, hey. So um, in today's vlog, it's going to be a typical vlog, but I thought I would just incorporate something a little bit um, different and new to my channel. Even though I have um, done this on my channel a couple of times now, I just figured I would just kind of do a dedicated video. So in today's vlog, it's going to be also a what I eat in a day. So I already have all the stuff um, on my counter ready to go. It's 12.38 and um yeah i just figured i would just show you guys what exactly i eat in a day and i'm gonna do it for today and tomorrow just so you can kind of get an idea of how things are different you know what i mean throughout um, my days so um i just want to let you guys know that i'm not on a diet or anything i don't count calories or anything i just kind of eat what i want to but i kind of just take into consideration what i'm putting in my body you know what i mean um yeah i thought i would just show you guys because one i have been cooking a lot on my channel and two i have been posting a lot of my food on my um instagram stories and i've been getting like a lot of questions about things that i make and even like the drinks that i make so i figured i would just show you guys in a video and i'm thinking about doing these maybe once a month or maybe twice a month just because obviously what i eat varies which is why i'm kind of doing today and tomorrow just so you can kind of see like the differences in my day so yeah um i hope you guys really like this type of video it's still gonna be a vlog i still have some stuff to show you and things like that but the only difference is is i'm gonna be actually like showing you guys what i eat throughout the day so like i said it is 12:39. Um, I haven't had breakfast, so now I'm just jumping into lunch. I usually don't eat breakfast. I usually just drink some water throughout the morning, maybe have like an iced latte or something like that. But I usually don't eat breakfast during the weekday, only on the weekends. So, yeah, that's usually how it just goes down here. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm having. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I use, all the ingredients, things like that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I just thought I would just let you guys know ahead of time, just so I'm not just like randomly cooking and show you guys everything. You kind of just understand why I'm showing you what I'm making and things like that instead of just, you know. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and start making lunch because I am hungry at this point. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I would love for you to join my family. But yeah, babes, let's go ahead and just jump right into this vlog. Okay, so usually what I have for lunch like literally um probably most of the time i'm having avocado toast and an egg so this is just a dave's killer bread and it's only 70 calories but but like i said i don't count calories but i am you know i just want to be cautious but i'm not sitting there like counting every single calorie so if it matters to you this is only 70 calories and it's really really good and this is just the um sprouted whole grains and it is organic if that matters to you as well so on my avocado toast i usually just put crushed red peppers if it'll focus some everything but the bagel seasoning um some lemon juice in the guac and then some like, garlic powder in the guac as well and then i'm also going to make a smoothie so you guys know that i absolutely love this so delicious dairy free organic coconut and sweetened vanilla milk so this is the base of my smoothie and then i like to just add a little bit of tangerine juice but you could use orange juice this is just what my supermarket carries and this is freshly squeezed which is why i get it like you can kind of see it separates so it's really really good and then for the fruit i'm gonna go in with some frozen strawberries and frozen mangoes so i did cut these up myself and squeeze them myself they were fresh but um i just put them in like individual baggies so that they're just ready to go whenever i want to make a smoothie so yep that's lunch i'm gonna start making it let you guys watch and we're gonna get into it
so we are done this literally took me about 10 minutes to make like it's literally the fastest thing um that's why i make it usually during the weekday because usually i'm working so i have to you know be quick with lunch and things like that so um i just put it on this cutting board just for the aesthetic just because i had to take a picture of it but you know this was just so extra of me but um i did it because it matches my water bottle cap so this is from amazon and then this is the mason jar that you guys saw me show in one of my previous vlogs y'all i've been obsessed over these since i got them you have the perfect amount of drink like it's not too much but it's enough that you know you're satisfied so y'all run don't walk to dollar tree and pick them up period um i love them isaiah loves them like it's just so good so 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 good look at that so yeah guys i'm gonna go eat this um like i said it's a really fast really simple meal um perfect for like if you're working from home and you just need like something to eat real quick and it's not going to take too much time away from work it's literally perfect and then obviously it's not the most um unhealthy thing you can eat like it's literally an egg avocado toast and a smoothie so yeah i'm gonna go eat this and i will see you guys in a little bit like 5 30 right now and i haven't filmed because i've just been doing homework so it was like literally nothing for me to film so um i thought i would just take a little break and give you guys a little haul i picked up some stuff from boohoo a little while ago and i never showed you guys because i wasn't filming so i'm hoping this stuff is on the site because other than that why would i show you guys if the stuff isn't even available so i'm hoping that <laughs> after this they're on the site um but it's only like four things so i figured i would just still show you guys just in case it is on the site in case you guys are just interested in anything so that's what you're about to do i put some shorts on just because i kind of had this vision of how i wanted to wear two of the items and i wanted to just see how it was going to look so yeah we about to try this stuff on and um see what they look okay so the first thing is this cropped flannel this is the checked crop oversized jacket and i got a size 12 i know that's uk size so this i think i might have got it in a size eight yeah so this is a us eight so i picked this up just because i was just on boohoo site and i was just like scrolling or whatever and i saw it and it had looked really cute on the model so i was like yeah i might need that and i like that it was like more of like a navy blue and then like a cream like off white it kind of just is real neutral toned and i thought it'd be really cute with like some denim shorts and i like that it was cropped because I felt like I was going to be able to get away with it like in the springtime. So this is how I had envisioned wearing it in my head. Not with this shirt, but like kind of just like a white bandeau type of shirt. And then just have it like loosely off the shoulder, like real casual. Um, because it still does get cold here, even though it is spring. Especially at nighttime, I figured this would be like really cute because you can either keep it on and have it as an outfit. Or then obviously take it off and then just have like the top and the shorts. But I just like the fact that it was cropped but still oversized. I think it's really, really cute. But it was just something about the color that just like did it for me. The color and the way it was cropped, I thought it was just really, really cute. So it's um, a nice material. It's kind of thick, like it'll keep you warm. But also like if you were to wear it in the springtime, you wouldn't be like sweating or um, like overheating. Okay, so the next item that I got is just this jacket, and I don't know why I felt like I needed jackets heading into spring, but then again, I kind of did order this back in like the winter, so yeah. 
anyway i liked it because of again the color so it's like a sage and like an olive green and then again it has like an off white mixed in so this is not cropped it goes a little bit past my shorts so so you can see where it kind of stops it's not even like halfway to my thigh it's like kind of stopping right under my shorts let me tell you the name of this this is the petite check jacket and they have it listed as light khaki i thought khaki was like tan but either way the color is what got me so let me try it on because oh i thought these were snaps but they're actually buttons that's cute Oh, I love this one. I like the other one too, but like it's something about this with the denim shorts. So this is what it looks like. And it is petite and I'm not, I'm 5'5". Five five, so I think petite is like 5'4 and under. So like I'm not petite, but I feel like it comes like at the perfect length. Like it covers my shorts, but it's like not overly long where like you really couldn't wear this in the spring because it's just like, you know, it's too much. It's too much of like a fall or winter jacket and this one is thick too it's like good material like i don't know it's really good material it's not too thick but again like you you'll be warm in the spring like the spring nights when it drops down to like 60 55 but you won't be like overly heated during the day and again like the same little off the shoulder oh i love this color yeah it's the colors for me this one has pockets and then it has like these pockets up here which are actually real too i didn't even think they would be oh this is cute or even just like have it all the way like just draped that's cute it's the shirt for me the shirt is like throwing me off i want like either just like a plain white bandeau like going across or just like a plain like no cutout it's the cutout that's like throwing me off but this is so cute i'm on my tippy toe so you can kind of see it a little bit better so cute i like it like this like just kind of draped over just real casual real slouchy or even just the one shoulder on one shoulder off this is really cute so this was the second thing that i got from boohoo but i think it's so 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 cute yeah the next thing i got again a jacket <laughs> like i don't know why i felt like i needed like jackets and jackets but yeah i guess i did so i got this denim jacket it has white at the top and it's also the same in the back really really cute oh the back is kind of swooped whereas in the front is more like of a triangle situation so i have so many denim jackets but i don't have a white one i don't have a white one i have a black one but i don't have a white one i don't think i ever would want a white denim jacket but this is really cute this is like a good happy medium so i obviously wouldn't wear this with the denim shorts but i don't feel like oh, maybe i should put my sweatpants on huh yeah give me a second so yeah i just put the sweatpants on because I didn't like how it looked with the denim shorts. But this is kind of how I would definitely wear it in the spring. Even in the summertime to be honest. And again just take it off when it's hot. And then put it back on when it gets a little cooler out. Um, I will have a different shirt on. I, it's, this shirt is throwing me off. Like I picked the wrong day to wear this shirt. <laughs> but anyway. So just with like a plain crop top. And then have this on. So this fits like really relaxed. And then, then it has a box like kind of it's like boxy and then it's cropped so it's really really loose really casual and i like it i love how relaxed it is let me see what size i got because i'm not sure um size 10 uk so this is a size 6 a u.s size 6 yeah it's the exact fit that i was going for like I wanted it to be a little oversized, but I didn't want it to be like too much where I was like drowning in it. You know what I mean? Reminds me of my favorite denim jacket. This is from Topshop. I wore the black one in 
one of my previous vlogs and this is just the same one but it's just blue and i've had this from i think i've had this since 2018 it's my favorite favorite denim jacket of all time and it kind of gives me the same the same vibe like with it being cropped and this is very oversized too let me just try this on for you guys i know you guys see this in a vlog before you've seen this too but yeah this is one of my favorite favorite denim jackets because of like the crop and then the box cut so when i saw this i was like oh yeah it's kind of going to give me the same vibe but just like different touches to it with the white so yeah let me just try this on so you can see what i'm talking about like the box cut i just washed this so it's all wrinkled i wear the jacket like almost every day i just can't i can't get enough so this is how this jacket fits it's real cropped and it's a lot more cropped than the boohoo one but i love it super cute it's my favorite jacket i'll link it down below um i got it like i said i think i got it like three years ago so i'm hoping it's still available but if not just go on boohoo because i'm sure um especially now since we're like officially in spring they're probably going to be putting out a lot more you know spring stuff a lot more denim jackets so yeah so the last thing that i got is just i'm not going to try it on just because you guys have seen it on me before just in a white i think i was it white or was it cream i think it was like white so this is the bodysuit that i wore to victoria's birthday dinner but it's just in this chocolate brown shade it's really cute and this is a size a size six and this is the slinky double layer scoop sleeveless bodysuit in the shade chocolate so really cute i knew after i ordered that white one that i just wanted to pick them up in every color and when i saw that they had brown even though like are we going to be wearing brown in the spring let me know let me know if brown is still going to be a thing in the spring or if it's just done for the winter either way i'm gonna wear mine so yep i got it in brown boohoo's bodysuits are really really good especially these slinky materials it's really really good it sucks you in it holds you in it's really good i highly recommend these bodysuits from boohoo and i think this was like nine dollars so yeah so that's it from boohoo i picked up isaiah and i just a hoodie from central square god and it's just a black plain hoodie but we have the black sweatpants so i just wanted to just complete our little our little fit so it's just a black hoodie and then we have the same one so that's it i'm gonna be wearing this all spring like i'm the type of person that will wear hoodies like a lot of people do wear hoodies and stuff like that in the spring and summertime especially the summertime i'm i will wear a hoodie in the summertime like i literally do not care so i picked this up and i think i got mine in a extra small i got mine in a small and his in the medium i think so yep that's it guys so it is officially 5:55, and i gotta go do my homework guys because your girl is pushing it with the time um so yeah i will see you guys at dinner
obsessed. I can't stop making them. It's just so good and it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. But yeah, I'm gonna put these tacos together and I will see you guys in a little bit. We just finished eating our tacos or whatever we finished like probably like 15 minutes ago and um i just wanted to quickly come on here and show you guys the dessert that i'm gonna have most nights i do have dessert um it just kind of depends but i'm one of those type of people that be like after you eat your food be like um i need something sweet that's definitely me so for dessert i'm gonna have some cookies these are the sweet lorraine's Cookies, these are gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, peanut slash tree nut free. And these are sugar cookies. So these are 120 calories per cookie. Um, it's safe to eat raw if you're into that. I'm not into that, but if you are into that, you can eat it raw because um, there's no dairy in here. So, yep. I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'll show you guys when they come out of the oven what they look like and yeah i'm looking at the ingredients right now it's literally just like five ingredients it's crazy so check these out if you haven't already like if you're one of those type of people that feel like you need something sweet after like me definitely check these out because they're really really good hey babe so it's the next day and it's well oh it's 12 52 so we're getting ready to have lunch and then start our day so for lunch we're gonna have some sandwiches, I have some sourdough bread, some, this is chipotle, what is this, buffalo chicken um, lunch meat, we have some arugula, some garlic herb butter, this butter, um, Aaliyah's face was talking about how much she likes it, so you already know I had to try it, I never tried it before, but she loves it, so I'm gonna try that, um, I got some burger sauce, some hot peppers, some pickles, some cheese. I'm gonna put these sandwiches together so that we can eat because we're kind of in a rush now at this point. Um, and I'm gonna make a green juice as well. I'll show you guys that once I'm finished with the sandwiches. But yeah, let's just get right into it because we got a lot to do today. So for my green juices, what I usually do is pour some of the Vita Coco coconut water. This is coconut water with pineapple. Some tangerine juice. You can use orange juice. Um, I don't do this all the time, but when I don't want to put, uh, like if I don't feel like cutting up any fruit to put in, I just pour a little bit of this in just for a little bit of sweetness. Um, usually I put mango in and I have a mango. I just don't feel like... <laughs> cutting it right now so then i take some baby spinach put about two handfuls of it so this is usually the base and then i just have some frozen raspberries that i'm going to just throw in there just um so i like it to be a little thick and when the fruits are frozen that's what obviously makes it thick so just a couple raspberries and then sandwich is done and then just a whole banana and it's frozen so it's just split into and that's my green juice i'm gonna blend this up and then i'll show you guys everything once everything is all done so isaiah's sandwich is finished this is what it looks 
Bye. And then we're also going to have some chips. We really like the Cape Cod kettle cooked potato chips and the sweet and spicy jalapeno flavor. So we're going to share this bag. This is the whole bag is 350 calories or if you do half of the serving it is 140 calories if that matters to you. So we're going to have some of these as well. My, my sandwich is still cooking. Um, so I'm let that cook. I'm going to blend my little green juice right now. Show you guys. And you about to eat lunch. And then after lunch I'll tell you guys what we have planned for the rest of the day. I'm cracking up because it's really the ugliest thing, but it's so good. The color is hideous, but I promise you guys, it's really good for it to be like healthy. It's really, really good. I'm also trying to film a TikTok too in the meantime. So y'all know how that goes. finished let me show you guys so this is what my sandwich looks like cheesy so good and then i like to have some hot peppers and pickles on the side and then the chips and then my green juice so i will link down my panini maker down below as well just in case anyone is curious but yep i'm gonna go eat this and then I will see you guys in a little bit. So I'm trying to find parking because we just got to the mall. Um, today is the Sephora sale. So it starts today for Rouge members. So y'all know I had to pull up. I want to get a couple of things. I'm looking for parking right now. There's like absolutely no parking. Um, it's like the mall is going up on a fucking Friday. But, um, yeah, today has been, you know, not the best. I already woke up just kind of feeling off. Like, I didn't sleep well last night. And so, like, when I don't sleep well, I just wake up not feeling good. So, that happened. And then, um, it just broke out that DMX passed away. So, it's just, like, fucking horrible. Like, another legend just gone. Like... It's just, it's just, it's just so crazy how life is just so short and so unpredictable, and like we're all just here temporarily. Like, it's so scary when you think about it. And you know, I feel like this happened so suddenly. Um, like with him ending up in the hospital and everything, like it was just like so random and so sudden. And then you know, we've been like just watching the news and like you know waiting to see like what's going on with him. So rest in peace dmx like this is just it sucks when like you know you grow up listening to these people and like you know just watching these people and like them being an inspiration and just like really like changing the culture and being a part of the culture and like it's just like i know my friend posted and was like it's crazy how we're losing like all our childhood legends and like it's true like we make these memories and you know these people even though we don't physically know them it's like we feel like we do because of everything that we see and like you know you listen to their music and you feel like you know maybe you can relate to them or whatever and it's just like gone um anyway you guys i'm about to run in here get some makeup definitely want to get some makeup like perk up my mood and stuff like that so i will see you guys in the mall um and i might stop at zara you already know so Let's go. Just got to the car. My mask took off my makeup. She's looking at a mess. So it wiped it off all right here. I guess it was like digging in. And I was like talking a lot and smiling. And then on this side too. But anyway i don't really care so we got our sephora so i'll show you guys everything when i get home and then i went to zara as well as i told y'all so a couple hundred later and we on our way home um 
Isaiah called me with some great news. He passed another one of his tests. So, just so happy for him. So proud of him. So excited for him. Because he's been like working so hard. And um, he's just like getting everything that he deserves. So, I'm so happy. He called me when I was in Zara and I was like on FaceTime and he was all loud and it was so funny. Like, but I'm so happy for him because it's something that like he's working so hard for. And um, these girls are like watching me. <laughs> these girls are watching me vlog. Anyway, um, yeah, he's been working so hard and I'm just so proud of him. So we got to go home. I'm about to go see him. I got Jamba Juice. I got White Gummy. Girl, it's like everything in me to not stop at um, Korean corn dogs. I really wanted a corn dog so bad. I didn't really want it. Like, I really didn't want it. But it's just something about being here and leaving without one that's kind of like, mmm. But I already ate lunch. Plus, I don't let me take a little break from them. Um, so yeah, I walked past it twice because I had to like walk past it going and coming, and I was just like, damn, like I'm really about to leave here without a corn dog. Plus, I don't want to eat it without Isaiah anyway. So whatever. And then I also um, passed by Cinnamon and Auntie Annie's. Girl, when I say y'all was trying to like really trick me up, okay? Those are my weaknesses. The three of them. And I had to walk past them. Um, I was going to get Starbucks, but the line was too long. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to just get Jamba Juice. Let's call it a day. So. so I just got back home. I changed out of my clothes because one thing about me, I can't wear outside clothes in the house. So um, I just put this bandeau on and some sweatpants. But anyway, let's get into the hauls so from sephora got a little big body bag um i got a few things cute i don't know i don't know what you would consider this <laughs> but anyway let's just jump right into it i'm not gonna go in like any order maybe i will um yeah maybe i will go in a little order so the first thing that i got is the olaplex this is the hair perfector so this is the number three um, hair perfector and it repairs and strengthens and it's for all hair types so you use this before you go in with your shampoo and conditioner this is not a conditioner it says um, and it says it's a bond builder so I saw Marie J mention this in her Sephora either favorites or recommendations so yeah her hair is so pretty so when she said she used this I was like okay gotta pick it up i watched it last night um so i added it to my cart and then went to go pick it up but i want to smell it but i don't feel like taking this off i don't think it probably has a scent i never mentioned i never hear anyone like mention olaplex's products smelling good or anything but i heard they work really good so yeah when she said she um used this i instantly put it in my cart i already had the shampoo and the conditioner in my cart so i just went ahead and was just like well another olaplex product Add it to the bag, period. So, to go with that, I just got the Olaplex um, conditioner and the shampoo. So, shampoo is number four, and then the conditioner is the number five. And both of them say that they repair, strengthen, and nurture, um, and it's for all hair types. So, I just got the mini bottles. I know they do have like the bigger ones, but since I'm just like testing it out and I'm new to Olaplex. I didn't want to go ahead and pick up a big bottle and then end up not liking it. So, um, I'm going to use these and I want Isaiah to use them too because he's been having like some issues with his hair too. So, I'm just trying to get our hair to be healthy because our hair, both of us, like I don't know what is going on. He's saying he's having some issues with his hair. He's not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling my hair. My hair is just like, it's been so hit and miss lately. So, I got these for both of us to use so you go in with the number three then a number four and number five shampoo and conditioner so i will keep you guys updated on whether or not these are working for my hair i don't really know um too much about olaplex i just know that a lot of people like them so pick these up so next from sephora i picked up the new sol de janeiro this is the bomb via bright cream y'all know i love their um bum bum cream y'all know i freaking love it i have is it bum bum or boom boom pretty sure it's bum bum 
I, either way, y'all know I love the one that's in the yellow container. And I have the perfume, I have the body spray. Like, your girl, I stand by that. So, when I saw that they came out with a new scent and just like a new formulation, um, put it right in the cart for the sale. So, this is... Mm -hmm. Sorry, my phone is going crazy. This is... I think this is like... Okay, yep, 2.5 ounces. And then, no... Your girl had to get the big body. So I picked up this, the same thing, but just the bigger one. Um, and the reason why I picked up the small one is because I'm going on vacation soon. And I was over there looking at it. I already knew, like I had my cart open and was just shopping around. And I wasn't sure if we were allowed to like smell and touch stuff anymore. So like because of COVID, I don't know. I didn't know if they like lift the precautions or not. So I was just like looking and depending on how it smelled was really going to determine which size I got. So um, a sales associate saw me looking at them and she's like, oh, do you need help? And I was like, yeah, I'm just wondering if, you know, we're allowed to like touch things and smell things now. And she was like, oh, yeah, like and she put it right on me and instantly fell in love. This smells so good. So um, originally I was probably just going to get the bigger size. But since I loved it so much, I was like, okay, I got to get the small little baby one for vacation because, um, like I said, it is 2.5 ounces and I'm just going to take a carry-on. So this will fit right in my little carry-on and I can take it on the plane because you guys know anything under um, 3.4 ounces is fine to take on the plane. So, oh my gosh, it's so thick and creamy. It's like a really, really pale pink shade but the scent y'all the scent huh. oh my god it smells so good i can't even describe it you guys just have to go smell it it smells let me read the description i know it's supposed to smell like plums and like girl i already knew i was gonna like it there's i just don't know where they get these scents from but they're bomb like soldier Janeiro, y'all kill it every time so let me just read it for you guys um it has fruit ahas so that's an exfoliant it says gently resurface for smoother and even texture it has a vitamin c and then it has kaja which i don't know what that is but it says it's rich in vitamins a and b for supple skin so um does it say like the scent description it doesn't it doesn't say but it smells like plums and if i can find the notes i'll put it on the screen for you guys but it smells like plums and i don't really know because like when i saw that it smelled like plums i was just like mm, i don't really like plums like i don't know if i'm gonna like how that smells but no it smells it's like such a unique smell like i've never smelled a fragrance like this before it's just so good. It's so different from the other ones too. So I would just say go smell it in your um, local Sephora and see if you like it. Um, Cause it smells so, I'm, I'm in love. Like as soon as she was like, here, a little goes a long way, which it does. She put a little bit on my hands and I just like rubbed my hands together. And like, I was smelling it. You know, I have a mask on. So like, it's just kind of hard to smell things. Some way this scent penetrated through my mask. And I was like, okay put them both in my cart in my um little basket and she started cracking up she was like so you're gonna get both and i was like girl yes i'm getting both period okay so next i got the fenty beauty um what is this easy drops yeah easy drops blurring skin tint um everyone's been talking about this and again i'm going on vacation so when i saw that these had launched i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna need that for my vacay so I can't open it, y'all. So the girl, um, one of the girls did match me. Um, she gave me a little sample on a sponge and then I just like dabbed it on my chest. I still have it on, but um, it matched perfectly. So I have the shade 13 while wow, the bottle is small. I saw some reviews on this and everyone said the bottle is small, but I didn't think it was gonna be like this small. I will keep you guys updated on whether or not I like this or not. I've seen some really good reviews on it, so um i'm hoping that i really like it when i rubbed it into my chest i was like oh this is really pretty so picked that up as well going along with that the next thing i got is 
um, the Drunk Elephant. This is the D Bronzy Anti Pollution Sunshine Drops. So I saw some reviews on this on Sephora. Like I was just browsing when I knew that the sale was coming up, so I can just start adding stuff to my cart so that when I went into the store I knew like exactly what to get um and this had really 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 good reviews I didn't think that it was going to be this small I think this was like 20 something dollars um 28 dollars this thing is small this is one fluid ounce but you're supposed to just put a couple dots into your moisturizer and then rub it on your face and you get like a bronze glow so Again, like the theme of this little Sephora haul was just with my vacation in mind. So the packaging is really, really cute. So um, this is like my first official product that I've gotten from Drunk Elephant. I've gotten like samples and stuff like that, but I've never had like an actual product. I never went out and bought anything. So again, I'll keep you guys updated on whether or not I like this. And you guys will see me using all of these products on my vacation as well. All right, so next from Sephora, I got the Patrick Ta, what is this? Major Glow Body Oil. It's like hard to see, it's engraved. So this is the packaging. This is in the shade A Moment. Again, I got this for my vacation. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So this is what it looks like. And I saw this on Sephora. And I was like, oh my god, this is just so gorgeous. I put it in my cart, took it out of my cart, saw it in stores, and was like, never mind, I want it. <laughs> so, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So, they have this in, I think, three shades. And it also has a bigger bottle. But again, um, since I'm taking a carry-on, I wanted to make sure that all of my products would be able to go on the plane. How many ounces is this? Okay, this is one fluid ounce. I'm just picturing this. This will look so fucking pretty on my best friend victoria like i just on her chest i feel like this would look so bomb on her but um yeah i had to i, I tried it on in store i sprayed it on my hand and um let me do it for you guys too there it is and then oh my god i can't it's just oh my god the scent It's just so, like, these products, y'all, girl, I'm going to be smelling so good in the summer and springtime. Like, I can't. So, this is what it looks like on my hand. Can you just see how glowy that is? Like, just imagine that on my degote, my um, collarbone, my clavicle, my chest, my legs. Like, I just, I'm ready to glow. I didn't do anything last summer. Your girl is coming out this summer, okay? Period. So I picked up the Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc, and this is the Shimmering Body Oil. I don't even want to open this. This is the packaging for me. Open it. Oh, it's already pretty. Oh my God, it's it's the packaging for me. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty let me show you guys the back so you can see the actual product so let me shake it we're gonna do like a little should we do a comparison oh my god both of the packagings are really really gorgeous i'm gonna spray it on this hand this hand has nothing on it i have lotion on but that's it should i do one spray i'll do one one of each so here it is it smells, it smells like sunscreen. It smells like summer in a bottle. Oh my god. So this is the Tom Ford one. Let's put the um Patrick Ta one on. So Patrick Ta Tom Ford. I think they're both just equally good. Alright, so the last two things that I got were finally done. Um I got some little fragrances. I got the replica by mason margella i got by the fireplace and coffee break you guys know um in my previous vlog that i mentioned that i had um jazz club and then i love it isaiah loves it the first one i have in my hand is by the fireplace 
um burning wood and chestnut is the description i told you guys that this one smells really really good it does it smells amazing and then um coffee break is creamy and cozy coffee as the description and both of these say that they are for um male and female so and you know when you have your mask on like i said earlier you can't really smell stuff so I was just gonna like listen i think it smells good from what i can kind of smell let me just get it so oh i want to smell this on isaiah oh my god it smells so good oh wow he would love this i don't smell any coffee at all even though it's called coffee break it is really like sexy and sensual warm i feel like i've smelled this before um like the smell is like bringing back memories it smells like it's something in there that i can't like pinpoint and it smells so good this is like this would be so nice for um date night oh my gosh it smells so good yes it smells a little different than how it did in the store um with my mask on but honestly that's to be expected so i'm gonna spray this one right here since i already have stuff on my wrist um this is by the fireplace another banger so oh this <laughs> this smells like um marshmallow fireside by bath and body works the candle but it smells musky i can really really smell the wood like the wood is like really coming through the marshmallow kind of smells a little bit like whipped cream like a little creamy so yeah that's all i got from sephora for the sale i didn't want any like foundation or like concealers because i've really been rocking with my morphe foundation which is twenty dollars and my elf concealers which are six dollars so from zara i got a couple of things um i just went in there to kind of look around and one thing that i did want they had in store so i was like okay perfect um and then when i was in line i saw um these dresses that i wanted but i couldn't like find them when i first walked in like when i was looking around i couldn't find them but i saw them at the checkout line and i was like can you just hold my spot <laughs> extra two girls behind me and they were like yeah girl it's fine went and grabbed my size and then um by the time i got my sizes the um cashier was ready so the dress that i ran to go get last minute was just this blue ribbed dress and it's kind of like cut the way um the yellow shirt is the one i showed you guys in one of my vlogs um maybe like two blocks ago where it's like cut down on the sides of your arm which I really really like um and it is racer back I got size small and this was $17.90 and so this goes probably to my knees or a little bit under my knees um it is fairly long but like I said it probably stops like right under my knees um, so I think this will be really really cute to wear um, on vacation and I'm kind of just trying to get my wardrobe ready for my vacation I'm trying to like just pick out stuff that I want to take and I just pictured this with a bag that I ordered that should hopefully I'm praying that it comes for my vacation but um, it'll be perfect with that bag and I just pictured this with a tan with my Tom Ford or Patrick Ta um body shimmer oil on my girl girl with a tan though but a tan and some body oil Ugh. and usually i wouldn't go for like a blue but this is kind of like a denim blue and i just love it it's gonna go perfect with my bag and um it's like this is my favorite type of blue where it kind of looks like denim so i picked this up and then I also just got the white version to this. So um, Aaliyah's face actually tried these on. She got the white one and she got the like, I think it was like yellow, like a yellow orange shade. So she picked those up and I saw it in her vlog. And again, I got it in a size small. So again, same exact concept as the blue one, just a different color, razor back, same exact thing. Um, I'm thinking I might wear this for my graduation 
or if I don't wait for my graduation, just take it on my trip and wear it. Oh, I think I kind of want to take this on my trip. I just thought about something that I could wear this with instead of wearing it for my graduation. Either way, we want to see. So, first of all, I don't know why the boy would like shove all my clothes in this little ass bag, but okay. The bag was like busting as I was walking out the damn store. So, anyway, I got these jeans. These are high rise full length jeans. I got these in a size 38, which is a 6. And they have rips in the je in the jeans. They have rips in the knees. And then they are kind of wide. It says wide on the tag. Um, yeah, this is pretty wide. So it is like a wide length. And does it say it? It doesn't say it. But I think I saw it like on the, um, they had like a sign. No, 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 it does. It says wide leg right there. And I've been looking for a pair of jeans like these. I've been looking on Pretty Little Thing. And um, what else? Pretty Little Thing. Was it just Pretty Little Thing? I think so. And I couldn't find one that looked like nice quality denim. Like, I don't know. I just felt like Pretty Little Things jeans just kind of looked like a little cheap. Um, and then I was just kind of nervous to order them and then they don't even fit or whatever. Whereas I can just go to Zara, get them, try them on. If they don't fit, take them back. You know, instead of having to ship it back to PLT, which I probably was not going to do. So then, anyway, Zara is coming out with a whole bunch of denim. They're bringing out their denim shorts. They have a whole bunch of jeans, different cuts. Like, they're just go to Zara if you're looking for any type of denim because the quality is great. It's kind of like H&M quality where it's like really, really good, sturdy denim. So next I got some shorts. I really wasn't like going in there to, I didn't expect to find anything. Um, I was just kind of going to browse around and see if I saw anything and I ended up seeing a couple things. So I picked up these shorts and these shorts stood out to me because they're not like booty shorts. They're not like poom poom shorts. They're, they're definitely gonna cover my butt and i kind of just i don't know it was something about them not being like bermuda shorts but not being boom boom shorts that like kind of just was like oh these are really cute so they're probably going to stop like a little bit before my mid die and i just thought that was gonna be really cute and then i think they are high waisted so what size did i get yeah they're high rise i got a size 6 38 and these were 35 90 the jeans were 49.90 um so i liked it the wash is okay it's a little bit too light it's a little bit too light of a wash for me like i prefer this shade of denim as opposed to like the light light wash but it's fine and then the last thing that i picked up is just this top it's a crop blouse it's all twisted up so i saw this and right by these shorts actually and like we're close to them and i saw that they had a size medium and i'm like okay i can make a medium work but i really wanted a small and then when i went over to the jeans they had it right next to the jeans in my size so i got a size small and this is what it looks like it doesn't look like much just holding it but on i know it's gonna look super super cute and i already have my um outfit planned for how i want to wear it and what i want to wear it with so it just it's kind of a cropped white blouse and it ties around your stomach so yeah i was really really happy when i found the small because i was going to make the medium work but i just feel like for the outfit that i'm going for the small would look a little bit better um and i believe this is jock jock Weemus inspired i could be wrong but i believe it is so yeah it looks confusing to put on so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to try it on when I don't have makeup on because I really don't want to get any makeup on this um, since it is like obviously white and new. So yeah, that was the last thing that I picked up. It's 518. My project is due at 1159. I still got to cook dinner for me and Isaiah. <sighs> Send help, please. So I'm going to go attempt to look at this project and get it done and i will see you guys for dinner time i'm hoping i can finish this project by eight but i doubt it 
Wish me luck, cause your girl about to be struggling. quick and easy meal this took i think i started at what 9 18 it is 9 45 so here it is and then i forgot to tell you guys that i was going to be putting on this dressing from trader joe's this is the spicy cashew butter dressing it has cashew butter and lime juice ginger cilantro and red chili peppers this is really 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 good so i just drizzled that on top and this is the final product so I'm gonna go ahead and um, eat this. I gotta reply to a lot of DMs and stuff like that on Insta. And yeah, um, I may or may not get back on here. Um, so let me just show you guys a couple of things that I like to have for dessert as well. This is the hold the cone from Trader Joe's. And this is just like a little drumstick. So it has, um, vanilla ice cream and then chocolate on top or like around it and it's so 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 tiny let me actually show you the, the tiniest little cone ever it's literally so small um so it's not like you're feeling guilty if you do eat dessert so that's gonna be it for this vlog i hope you guys really enjoy don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching i love you babe so much and